And we have got a brilliant crowd building up. It is sold out here at Bay Oval. And the noise is getting louder and louder in the anticipation of watching these two play. Could have been oh so different. New Zealand no first slip. Would have been straight to first slip. After that, there was some good balls that went past the outside edge, but the Indians were patient. They weathered. It wasn't really a storm early on. They just got themselves established, and once the hardness of the ball had been taken out, or the hardness of the seam and the shine had come off it, they were into it. New Zealand tried the odd short one, but India was up to it. It's an initial plan, but every short one that was bowled got punished. New Zealand got a little bit frightened. They started pitching up a bit more. And the Indians were all over that. You drop short of bowl to bad one, you you got the treatment as well. It was the, the lesser bowlers, let's say, who struggled the most. Both batsmen going past 50. All right, Sharma, Shikadawan combining for an initial stand of 154. And at this point, it looked like India was on target. They could have pushed 400 at this point. They were going great guns. New Zealand were absolutely desperate for a wicket. And it just would not come. Plan A, plan B, plan C. It all wasn't working. Trent Bolt came back in and they got stuck in them straight away. Still probably the pick of the New Zealand bowlers. Finally, New Zealand made a breakthrough. It was with a pretty average board. I think Trent Bolt would even admit that. He got a little bit lucky there. Short, wide one. Very Coley came to the middle, looked very good. Sharma was the next to go, so New Zealand was effectively able to go bang, bang. It didn't really matter because they were still able to create partnerships. I thought Uraidu played very, very well. It was an efficient knock. And with Virat Kohli, they were really taking it to the New Zealanders. The running between the wickets was good too. You won't see any of that here. You'll see the big hits. But they were taking on the field. Then finally, the short ball did work for New Zealand. That was Virat Kohli gone. Then came Emi Stoney to a reception worthy of a Kohli or a Tendulka. At this point, they were looking to get on with it. Lockie Ferguson got a caught and bowled there. New Zealand had for, for just a wee, wee bit, was starting to look like they were going to finish the strongest of the teams. Now the Indians had other ideas. That was not flash at all. It's a little bit casual there from Colin de Gronholm. And New Zealand conceding about 30 from the last couple of overs. 70 from the last seven overs and India go into the hut into the halfway break 324 New Zealand will probably think you know what it could have been a lot worse Gupta was the first to go just got it between slashing and running, and so didn't get it far enough. Williamson had uh, a fantastic over, where he absolutely took to Muhammad Sami. A couple of good hook shots, a magnificent shot off the back foot, trademark Williamson. And then he just dragged one on, probably should have played it straight, and tried to go square, kept a little low, and he was gone. Munro had a decent start, 31, before he tried to play that, that switch sweep shot of his. And it was his downfall. Taylor came in, and he was another one that got a start, 22, before well, he just there we go. inexplicably just, just lifted his foot in defence. And Doney is just lightning sharp behind the stumps. That was a nice shot from Nathan. He's a good player against spin, but not so on that occasion. Totally and utterly deceived. In the flight, got him between sweeping, playing straight, and got out. Colin de Grandholm uh, knows only one way, and that one way was not good enough tonight. Henry Nichols, another start. When he tried to up the rate, he was deceived. By Kuldeep Yadav, that was first ball. He sowed it, just went across one too far. Maybe he thought that was the wrong, and Brace was very good. Very, very good. Played some beautiful shots. How about this one? That 
is absolutely sparkling, possibly shot of the match. He looked every bit the batsman, and he is an improving batsman. He's more than just a, a bowler who bats a bit. His first one-day international 50. So a nice moment from him, but in a losing cause, and he just didn't quite get that one well enough, and he was out. In came the entertainer, Trent Bolts. Lovely shot down the ground. How about this one? Straight drive off a short ball. The strapple, they call it. The last to go was Lockie Ferguson, who had batted pretty well, actually, with Doug Bracewell in partnership. He was caught at long on, and that was the end of it for New Zealand. India won the toss and batted first. Right, Sharma, 87. Shikadawan, 66. They got away to a great start, put on 150. Emis Dhoni, the great finisher, was brilliant again at the death, 48. Not out so hard. He's got such a good average because he's so hard to get out. Trent Bolt picked the bowlers for New Zealand, although I thought when it comes to economy rates, he showed he was unrewarded. I thought he did a pretty good job for New Zealand. Lucky Ferguson is on the score sheet there because he picked up a couple of wickets.